Okay, do I have a story for you guys? So, uh, today I went on a bit of an adventure, so to speak. But before I talk about that adventure, I have to kind of put it into context, give it a little backstory, because this goes back a long, long time. <laughs> um, so, back in fifth grade, uh, you could read books and then take a test and you would get something called AR points. I don't know if AR points exist in every single elementary school, but I definitely know they were very popular and very prominent in the place that I went to. And me and my friends, being the nerds that we were, we would always read these big books and take the test, get perfect scores, and get a lot of AR points as a result. Now, what's the point of getting a lot of AR points? Well, um, once, I think once a month, I'm not quite sure, but once a month there would be a little store that opened in the lobby of our, our school, and it was called the AR store. The AR store was where it was at. They sold stuff like uh, scented pencils, pencil toppers, erasers, just, and also just fun little knickknacks that, you know, third to fifth graders just love to have. It was super popular. It was a hit with everyone. One, one day, my friend group kind of noticed that there was a lot of duck related items in the AR store. There were duck pencil toppers, there were duck erasers, um, and stuff like that. What did we do with this? Well, we had a war. So what happened was, it was me and my best friend, Jessica, versus one of my other friends named Henry, and I think some of his guys um, assisted him in his duck collection. What we did was that everyone bought as many ducks as they possibly could and we practically staged world war ii with it and i'm pretty sure the winner was determined via the amount of ducks that someone had like the pencil topper ducks would be of more value than an eraser duck because the eraser ducks were really small whereas the pencil ducks were slightly bigger i'm not sure this was a while ago which leads me to the occurrences of the present day so I was talking to Jessica one day and for some reason I just remembered that this ducky war happened which is really weird considering you know it it happened in fifth grade but it wasn't really a major event in fifth grade or at least I didn't think so I definitely don't think my teacher thought it was a minor event. We definitely got in trouble for it at one point. There was just so many ducks. <laughs> so I was talking to Jessica and I said, do you remember the ducky war? And she said, yeah, she remembered. And I got to thinking, did we ever have a definite winner of the ducky war? And then I remembered, we never had a true winner. I think, in sheer amounts, um, I feel like Henry won in fifth grade, or at least he won a battle, because I definitely remember him gloating all over the playground. And life's been a little boring lately. I have read every book that I own. Homework hasn't really been an issue lately. Life's been pretty boring. And I don't watch TV, so I gotta, <laughs> I gotta do something. And that thing was, I went to all of the stores in my town and I bought all of the rubber ducks that they sold. Now granted, these are these are bath rubber ducks. So they aren't the, the pencil toppers or um <laughs> or the erasers that we kind of used in our in the OG ducky war, but they're bigger. So they technically these are like the tanks of the ducky war. I would just like to say, I didn't realize how little rubber ducks my town has. I'm kind of disappointed, but I did buy all of them. And it was like less than $40. I'm, I'm seriously, you know, come on. Are you even successful as a town if you don't have 2,000 rubber ducks available? <laughs> but anyway, they're sitting on my bed right now. And I'm looking 
at the sheer amount that I have and it doesn't seem like that many. But then I realize I'm one person. It <laughs> most people don't even own one rubber duck. I this is a lot of rubber ducks for one person. And I would just like to say, um, Henry, surrender now. You have officially lost the ducky war. And I am waiting to hear uh your re response reply to this to this new offense. So I'm gonna I'm gonna show you how many rubber ducks I now own. What have I done? <laughs> Henry, surrender now or face the wrath of me and my 127 duck army. What I'm planning to do as of right now, um, I'm going to take the best bubble bath the world has ever seen. After that, I'm going to slowly place them uh, around the school. It's going to start off one a day, and then before you know it, it is gonna be, it's going to be an infestation. And I'm also hoping to take most of these to host the state and either prank my roommates with it or I'm just gonna put it all over the conference center that host the state's gonna be at. Yeah, you're gonna be in a competition room and you will see just a rubber duck duct taped to the wall. Duct taped. <laughs> but yeah, I, I'm gonna have a lot of fun with these and I don't think my collection's over. I, I don't feel like, I don't feel like I have enough ducks gonna be oh. but the main point of this whole video was to put an end to the ducky war Henry Jessica and I have thoroughly beaten you now surrender or face your yellow demise <laughs> what is my life come to oh my god my children my babies you know most people talk about being cat ladies when they grow up no, not me. This is what my life looks like. <laughs>